hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show how to crochet this beautiful and easy earrings so keep watching for the pattern i'm using anchor thread number 8 0.5 mm crochet hook earring stud stopper jump ring scissor and glue so these are the things required for the tutorial, I'll be using a larger size yarn and hook. We're going to start the pattern with a magic ring. Chain 1. We're going to work in this ring. Make 8 single crochet in the ring. I have completed 8 single crochet. We are going to close the magic ring. Make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. So our first row is completed. You can fasten off the thread and weave the ends. For the second row, I'm using a different color yarn. I'm going to pull up a loop, chain one, make one single crochet in the same stitch. Chain two, now we are going to chain seven. I have completed 7 chains and now we are going to count from the single crochet stitch 1, 2 and this is the third chain we are going to make a slip stitch we have a ring here chain 2 make 1 single crochet in the next stitch So this is the base of the pattern. We're going to repeat this. Let's repeat one more time together. Chain 2. Chain 7. We're going to skip 2 chain and make a slip stitch in the next chain. Chain 2, make a single crochet in the next stitch. We need to repeat this all around. I'll just go ahead and complete my row. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. As you can see, I have completed. We will have a total of 8. So this is my last chain 2 on my hook. I'm going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. So our second layer is completed. Now we are going to make battles. Make a slip stitch in chain 2 space. Chain 1. Make 2 single crochet in the same space. Now we are going to work in this ring, make one single crochet in the space, one half double crochet in the same space. Make three double crochet in the same space.
chain 3 3 double crochet in the same space One half double crochet in the same space. One single crochet in the same space. In chain two space, we are going to make two single crochet. So our first pattern is completed. So let's repeat one more time together. We are going to skip the single crochet stitch and we are going to go straight away to chain 2 space. Make 2 single crochet in chain 2 space. We are going to work in this ring. Make 1 single crochet in the ring. 1 half double crochet in the ring. 3 double crochet in the ring. Chain 3, 3 double crochet in the ring, 1 half double crochet in the ring, 1 single crochet in the ring, In the next chain 2 space, make 2 single crochet. So repeat this pattern all around. I'll just go ahead and complete my row. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. As you can see, I have completed all my patterns. My last chain 2 is left. I'm going to make 2 single crochet in chain 2 space. And make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. So our beautiful flower is completed. Fasten off the thread and weave the ends. For the next row, I'm changing the color of the yarn. We're going to start with a slip knot. We're going to take the flower and insert a hook in any chain 3 space pull up a loop chain 1 make 1 single crochet in the same space chain 7 Make 1 single crochet in chain 3 space of the next pattern. Chain 7. Make 1 single crochet in chain 3 space of the next pattern. So repeat this pattern all around. I'll see you guys at the end of the row. As you can see, I have completed my row. We are going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. Row 4 is completed. For the next row, we are going to make a slip stitch in chain 7 space. If you think your work is getting tight, you can increase the chains. For the next row, we are going to chain 2, which will be counted as 1 double crochet. In the same space, we are going to make 4 double crochet. So 
so we have five double crochet including chain two now we are going to chain two and make five double crochet in the same space This is the first corner of the square. Now we are going to chain 5 and make one single crochet in the next chain 7 space. Chain 5. In the next space, make 5 double crochet. So this one will be the second corner of the square. chain 2 make 5 double crochet in the same space Chain 5, one single crochet in the next space, chain 5. So repeat this pattern all around. I'll see you guys at the end of the row. This is the end of the row. We are going to make a single crochet in the last space, chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the second chain. We are going to fasten off the thread and weave the ends. So a beautiful pattern is completed. You can even add a single crochet border if you want. I have added a single crochet border all around. So this is my earrings. I am going to attach earring stud with the help of jump ring to complete the earrings. So a beautiful earring is completed. I hope you'll like it. Thank you so much for watching.